Hello everyone, myself Sarida Shiral, faculty at Silver Hills Public School. Last class, we have studied properties of multiplication. In this class, we are going to learn multiplication by 10, 100, 1000 and 10,000. Let's move to the topic. Yes, come on. Multiplication by 10. How can you multiply a given number by 10? To multiply a given number by 10, you have to add an extra zero towards the right side of the number. This given number is 56,791 multiplied by 10. How can you do this? First, you have to write the number that is 56,791 and you have to add an extra zero towards the right side of the number. You know which is the right side. So, this is the right side. So, after writing the number, you are going to add this extra zero there. So, when you multiply any number by 10, first you will write that number and you will add one extra zero. Let's do one example. To multiply a number by 10, let's see how we can do this. See, come on. See, I have given you one number, 32,874 multiplied by 10. How can you do this? First, write the number. This is the number. So, you are going to write it as 32,32874. You are first going to write that number and you are going to add that extra zero towards its right side. After writing that, you have to use commas to divide it according to the period. So, your answer will be 3 lakhs 28,740. Let us do one more example. Two thousand seven hundred and twenty multiplied by ten. How to do this? First, write the number two seven two zero. Then what is the next step? You have to add one extra zero because in 10 you have seen one extra zero. You are going to add that extra zero. That now the number become 27,200. Is it clear? Yes. Let's move to the next. Multiplication by 10, 20, 30 and all. What are these numbers? They are the multiples of 10. You know which are the multiples of 10? Yes. Multiples of 10 are? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. They are called the multiples of 10. Now, how can you multiply a number by 20? Yes. First, multiply the number by 2, then add one 0 after the number. For example, 452 into 20. How will you do this? First, you will write 452 into 20. You are going to break it as 2 into 10. So, first you are going to write 452 into 2 into 10. Then, you know 452 into 2 is 904. When you multiply 904 with 10, you have to add one extra zero there. So, the number becomes 9040. Is this clear for you? Let's do one example. Six thousand three hundred and fifty seven multiplied by thirty. So thirty is a multiple of ten. So what you have to do? You know that thirty means three into ten. 30 means 3 into 10. So, first you will multiply 6357 multiply by 3. 
So, let us do multiplication here 6357 multiplied by 3. Okay. First, you are going to multiply 3 with 7. 3 7s are 21. 1 carry over 2. Then, next you are going to multiply 3 with 5. 3 5s are 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 7 carry over 1. Then, 3 3s are 9 plus 1 10. 0 carry over 1. Then, 3 6s are 18 plus 1 19. So, you got 1, 9, 0, 7, 1. Now, you are going to add this extra 0 here. So, your number becomes 1,90,710. Is it clear? If you multiply any number by the multiples of 10, first you have to break that number. If it is 40, you will break it into 4 into 10. If it is 60, you will break it into 6 into 10. If it is 90, you will break it into 9 into 10. Here the number is 6357 multiplied by 30. So, first you are going to multiply 6357 into 3 into 10. When you multiply 6357 into 3, you will get the number 19071. And when you add that extra 0, you will get the answer 1,90,710. Now, let us multiply with 100. Yes. Multiplication by 100. To multiply a number by 100, put two zeros towards the right of the number. Example, 7,231 multiplied by 100. First, you have to write that number that is 7231. Then you are going to add that two zeros. Then only you will start putting the commas. You know how to put the commas. So, after three digits, this is the ones period, you will put the first comma. Then after the second period, that is thousands period, then comes the lakhs period. So, your answer will be 7,23,100. So, multiplying any number by 100, it is very easy. First, you will multiply the number by 1, then you will add two zeros. Is it clear? Now, next we are going to learn how to multiply number by the multiples of 100. Which are the multiples of? Which are the multiples of 100? Yes. Come on. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 600. 700, 800, 900. These are the multiples of 100. How can you multiply by the multiples of 100? Yes. To multiply a number by 400, if it is 400, first multiply the number by 4. Then you can add two zeros. Yes. 592 into 400. So, 400 means 4 into 100. So, first you will multiply 592 with 4. Then when you multiply 592 with 4, you will get the answer 2368. Then you have to add two zeros towards the right of the number. Then the number becomes 2,36,800. Let us do one example. Okay, 5421 multiplied by 200. So, first what you have to do, you, you, you know that 200 means it is 2 into 100. So, first you will multiply 5421 with 2. So, first you are going to multiply 5421 with 2. See, you can do it in the working column. Okay, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10. You, so, you got the answer 1, 0, 8, 
four two. When you multiply five thousand four hundred and twenty one with two, you got the answer ten thousand eight hundred and forty two. But we are we have to multiply with two hundred, no? So you have to add two more zeros here. Then you have to put that comma. So the now answer will be ten lakhs eighty four thousand two hundred. Is it clear? Yes. So when you are going to multiply with the multiples of hundred, first break that number and you first multiply that number with the whole number and you have to add. Two zeros towards the right side of the number. Same method we are going to follow with multiplication by thousand. Multiplication by thousand here to multiply a number by thousand. In thousand you have seen how many zeros? Three zeros. So very simple. After the whole number you are going to add three zeros towards the right of the number. Yes. So two hundred and sixty multiplied by thousand, so you will get two lakhs sixty thousand, because here two six zero. Then you are going to add three more zeros, so two lakhs sixty thousand. Let's do some examples. Seventy-nine into four thousand. How to do this? First, multiply seventy-nine by four. Seventy-nine multiplied by four. So nine fours are thirty-six. Write six here and three top of this number. Then seven fours are twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus three is thirty-one. So you will get the number three hundred and sixteen. With that, you are going to add three zeros. So when you add three zeros, the number becomes three lakhs sixteen thousand. Is it clear? Yes. Now next, multiplication by multiples of thousand. So you know the multiples of thousand are thousand. Two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, and nine thousand. Yes, very good. So, how to multiply a number by seven thousand? Here, the number given is nine hundred and twelve. You are going to multiply nine hundred and twelve by seven thousand. You know, seven thousand is seven into thousand. So first, what you have to do? First, you have to multiply the number by seven. So when you multiply nine hundred and twelve by seven, you will get the answer six thousand three hundred and eighty-four. With that, you are going to multiply thousand. You know that when you multiply with thousand, first you will write that number and you will add three zeros. So the number became sixty-three lakhs eighty-four. Thousand, yeah. We will do one example. Yes, five hundred and forty-two multiplied by five thousand. First, you know five thousand means five into thousand. So first, you are going to multiply five hundred and forty-two with five. Five hundred and forty-two with five. So first, you are going to multiply five hundred and forty-two by five. Five hundred and forty-two multiplied by five. Five twos are ten. Zero carry over. Five fours are twenty plus one twenty-one. Five fives are twenty-five. Twenty-five plus two is twenty-seven. So you will get the answer two seven one zero. So with that number, you are going to multiply thousand. So you have to add three more zeros. So your answer will be twenty-seven lakhs ten thousand. Is it clear? When you multiply 
any number by the multiples of 1000 first multiply that number with that given number then you are going to add three zeros let's move to the last one because you have to study till 10,000 in class 4 multiplication by 10,000 to multiply a given number by 10,000 you know very well in 10,000 there are four zeros so first when you multiply any number by 10,000 when you multiply any number by 10,000 first you will write that number and you will add four zeros towards the right side of the number here the number is 231 with 10,000 you know that in 10,000 there are four zeros so 231 followed by four zeros so your answer will be 23 lakhs 10,000 we will do one more example how to multiply a number by 10,000 okay we will do one example here 32 multiply by 10,000 okay 10,000 means first you are going to multiply 32 with 1 so 32 with 1 is 32 and you are going to add 4 zeros okay so your answer will be 3 lakhs 20,000 let's try one more example 70 multiplied by 10,000 see 70 is the number so first you are going to write the number then you are going to write the zeros 1 2 3 4 so your answer will be 7 lakhs is it clear okay multiplication by multiples of 10,000 which are the multiples of 10,000 20,000 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000 and 90,000. Okay. So, in the multiples, you can see how many zeros are there? Four zeros. So, to multiply a number by 30,000, what you have to do? First, you have to multiply the number by 3 and you have to put four zeros. Since it is 10,000, you know that in 10,000 there are four zeros. So, after multiplying the number, you are going to add four zeros. Now, 84 into 30,000. First, you are going to multiply 84 with 3. When you multiply 84 with 3, you will get the answer 252. With that number, you are multiplying 10,000. So, you will get the answer 25 lakhs. 20,000. Let's do one example. 16 multiplied by 70,000. Okay. 16 multiplied by 70,000. 70,000 means you know very well it is 7 and 10,000. 7 into 10,000 is 70,000. So, first you are going to multiply 16 with 7. First you are going to multiply 16 with 7. You have to do it in the working column. 6 7s are 42. 2 carry over 4. 7 1s are 7 plus 4 is 11. Okay. So you got the answer there 100. So, first you will write 112, then you are going to add 4 zeros, then you have to put the comma. So, your answer will be 11 lakhs 20,000. Is this clear for you? Yes, today we have learned multiplication of 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. We have also learned the multiples of 10. We have also learned the multiple, multiples of yes, 100, multiples of 1000 and multiples of 10,000. Is it very easy? Yeah, it's very easy. Let's do some examples. See, multiply 
7 into 2000. So what you have to do here? First you are multiplying 7 twos are 14. Then you have to put that 3 zeros there. So the number became 14,000. Next 35 into 7,000. So to do that if you don't know 35 into 7. First multiply that 35 into 7. 7 fives are 35. 7 threes are 21. 21 plus 3 is 24. So you got the answer 245. You will write 245 followed by how many zeros? 3 zeros. So your answer is 2,45,000. Next 784 multiplied by 10. Since it is 10 it is very easy. You have to write that number and you have to put that extra zero towards the right side. Here 784 into 100. Same way 784. Since it is 100 you are going to add two zeros. See here in 784 with 10 you have put one zero towards the right side of the number. 784 with 100 you have written the number there and you have put two extra zeros towards the right side of the number. Same 784 how will you multiply with 200? First you have to multiply 784 with 2. Multiply by 2. 4 twos are 8. 8 twos are 16. Then 7 twos are 14 plus 1 is 15. So you have to write 1, 5, 6, 8. Okay, then you have to put that two zeros. So the number will be 1,56,800. Same number you are going to multiply by 2,000. You know 784 into 2 is 1,568. Then here you have to put three zeros. So your answer will be 15 lakhs. 68,000. Yes. See 365 into 20. How will you do? First you have to write 365 multiply by 2. 5 twos are 10. Carry over 1. 6 twos are 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 3 carry over. 2 threes are 6 plus 1. 7. So you got 730, 730 then you have to put one extra zero there. Okay. Now 365 into 200. You know that 365 into 2 is 730. Since it is 200 you have to put that two extra zeros there. Next 365 into 8. So you have to multiply 365 multiplied by 8. 8 fives are 40. 4. 6 eights are 48. Plus 4 is 52. 2. 5. Then 8 threes are 24. 24 plus 5 is? Yes. 29. So 2920. So you are going to write 2, 9, 2, 0. Then you have to put that 2 zeros. Same way you have to multiply 365 into 4000. Here you have to multiply 3, 365 multiplied by 4. Five fours are twenty. Six fours are twenty-four plus two, twenty-six. Four threes are twelve plus two, fourteen. So one, four, six, zero, and you have to put that three zeros. So your answer will be fourteen lakhs sixty thousand. Same way you have to multiply three sixty-five with thirty thousand. So first you have to multiply 365 by 3.
5 threes are 15 carry over 1 6 threes are 18 plus 1 19 carry over 1 3 threes are 9 plus 1 10 so you got the answer 1095 when you have multiplied by 3 but here it is 30,000 so you have to add 4 zeros here ok next same way you have to multiply 784 with 3 first you have to multiply 784 with 3 then you have to put that 4 zeros Four threes are twelve. Eight threes are twenty-four plus one twenty-five. Two seven threes are twenty-one. Twenty. So two three five two. Two three five two. Then you have to add those four zeros. So after that, you have to put the comma. Is it clear? So when you multiply any number by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. For 10, you will add, you will put one extra zero towards the right side of the number. For 100, you will put two extra zeros towards the right of the number. For 1000, three extra zeros. And for 10,000, four extra zeros. And for multiples, first you have to multiple, uh, multiply that number with the whole number and you have to put the extra zeros. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. So next class we will come with three digit with three digit multiplication and word problem. Word problem is very easy. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day.